Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> How many of you have ever heard about Fundi? Oh, that's pretty a lot, though. Didn't expect that. What is Fundi? Fundi is traditionally a Swiss meal during. It's a traditional Swiss meal. According to Blick, a Swiss newspaper, you eat Fundi during the winter, like, yeah, I would say December to March and also for dinner, because the reason is you need much of time and normally you drink it next to white, uh, you eat it next to white wine. So it's probably better if you eat it after work than during work. It actually comes from the French part of Switzerland and it means Vondre. Vondre means making liquid by heat, like melting. You see it over here, a little bit in the picture, it's melted cheese. There are mainly three different flavors of fondue. You have the cheese fondue, which I'm going to talk about today. You have the chocolate fondue, which is out of chocolate and fruits. And you have the fondue chinoise, which is with soup and meat. The reason why I just talk about cheese is because there isn't enough time to talk about all three. And cheese is probably the most traditional one. About the cheese, Switzerland is known for the best quality cheese because of many reasons. One of the main reasons is because we live in the mountains and the cows are going to their mountains, to their fields every year during the summer. They go up about in March and coming down in September. So during this time they eat a lot of grasses, you know, and this is high quality grass because it's in the mountain. We have really good air and all these are important to get good milk and cheese is out of milk. Every part of Switzerland has its own cheese flavor because of these different areas where they are. <coughs> like they have different grass and all this stuff. My region where I'm living, we have a mix of cheeses of different flavors. These are called Kloser Käse Emmentaler these two and yeah your the names won't say anything it's just a name where they are where the regions are so what is actually what are the ingredients of these cheese fondue as it says you have cheese <clears throat> you have white wine white wine is just a little bit for to make the flavor more intense cherry brandy garlic and pepper you can also see it in the picture there is the pepper you can see it pretty good so you know now what is that there is cheese, you know the ingredients, but how is it served? This is a simple picture and it shows exactly what it's needed for. So mainly you have, this is called the rusho, all these. Rusho is also French and it's just a cooker. Because over here, there is a liquid in it and you turn it on with a lighter so it stays hot in here. You put the cheese in here, that it stays hot. And as you can see, these forks are longer than normal ones. There's a pretty simple reason for it, because it needs a length, because otherwise, if you stick something on the fork, you may burn your hands if they aren't long enough. And this is how a traditional dinner of cheese fondue looks like. So mainly, you have the cheese, the melted cheese over here. You have the two main dishes, potatoes on the left side and bread on the right side. So you cut the bread in pieces that it is enough small to put it in your mouth without cutting it anymore. As you can see, they are pretty small. So it works really easy. You stick either bread or potato on the fork and dip it in the cheese. You leave it like for two or three seconds and after that, you can eat it. But you have to be really careful because the cheese is normally really, really hot. And you may burn your mouth, which isn't the best thing, as everybody know. And these are the two main dishes. And next to, it, next to it, you can eat whatever you want to. I would recommend some different vegetables. As you can see over here, it's pepperoni, mushrooms, tomato, it's up to you, whatever you like. I've also heard about that people are eating french fries with it, so they did <laughs> french fries in it, and it, also, it is also really good. According to 20 Minuten, also Swiss newspaper, all tourists which are coming during the winter break 
are going to eat either one of these different flavors, cheese fondue, fondue chinois, or chocolate fondue, during this time because it's just the most traditional one. And for me personally, I just can recommend it for everyone because when I was back home last break during the winter, I ate it like every week because it's just, it's really, really good. And if you like cheese, it's a thing you have to do. Are there any further questions?